Hello beautiful people and welcome to my shop. My name is Andrea Marcellan, but you can call me Andrew if you like. If you decided to click on this video, it's probably because you are a guitar player or maybe a bass player and you should know a lot of stuff about guitars. Well, let me tell you this. I've been working as a professional luthier for the last 15 years now and I'm still learning new stuff every single day. And this is exactly the reason why I decided to create this new YouTube channel because I'd love to share the stuff I know with you guys. So, for the last year and a half, I've been working on my Italian YouTube channel, which is Luteria Marcellan. But lately, I've been starting thinking, Andrea, why don't you create a new YouTube channel with the same topic, but in English? Think about how many more people you could reach and hopefully help by sharing what you have learned in 15 years as a luthier. So, what is the problem, you might ask? Well, the problem is that I wasn't really the most brilliant English student back in the days. So will I be up to task? Well, I guess we'll see. Because you have to understand that all the English I know really comes from YouTube videos, which I'm listening to every single day for the last 15 years. And this is really why I decided to create an English YouTube channel. Because think about it, everything you would like to learn can be found on the web in English. And that is an incredible opportunity and the reason why I decided to create this new YouTube channel. Because I think it has come the time to give something back. So in this very first video I would like to share with you guys five tips or things that all the guitar and bass player should know but really don't. But before we get started guys please click on the subscribe button and on the notification bell because there will be a lot of interesting stuff coming on this YouTube channel. Nothing else to say, let's get started. The first thing you should really know, guys, it's about the nut. Because if you feel like playing the guitar is way harder than you thought. Probably is because on almost every guitar, also on high-hand guitar, the strings at the nut are too high. And that maybe is on purpose so that when you buy a guitar, you can take it to your guitar tech so that it can make the right setup for you but also in my opinion is made to save some money when building thousands of guitars every year. So why is having the strings too high at the nut a problem? Well first of all it makes the guitar way harder to play especially on the first three or four frets but not only that because on the same three or four frets the notes, but also the chords you are going to play, will sound more or less out of tune, which is really bad to hear. If you've been thinking, God damn it, I really suck at playing guitar. Well, probably it's not you, but it's the guitar setup that really sucks. The second thing you should really know is about the truss rod, which is this thing, or maybe this one. The first one is a single action truss rod and the second one is a double action truss rod. So, what does it mean? You have to understand that the pulling force of the strings will make your neck bend. And that is where the truss rod comes in place. In this case, it's a single action truss rod, which means that if your neck is bent this way, by adjusting your truss rod, you can make it straight. But what if, because of a bad choice of wood, bad seasoning, your neck is bent the other way, so this way? Well, if you have a double action truss rod, you can adjust your neck both ways. That's it. So now that we know what is the correct use of a truss rod, let me explain you what is not meant for. The truss rod is not made to raise or lower the action of the strings, full stop. Of course, changing the curvature of your neck will change the action of the strings, but again, the truss rod is not the right way to work on the height of your strings. Speaking of strings, the third thing is about changing the strings on your guitar. You don't really need any particular technique. You don't need to make any knot. You don't need to put the strings inside the peg hole a dozen of times. You don't need to do any abracadabra mambo jumbo to do so. Just put the strings inside the peg hole, bend it one way and the other, 
wind the strings up. Cut off the excess so that it won't scratch your beautiful shiny head plates and that's done. Two and a half to three turns of strings are fair enough. Less than that and you might find out that your strings keep slipping so that you are unable to properly tune your guitar. Not only that, because if you need to change the tuning of your guitar more frequently, maybe from a song to another, you will find out that if you have less than two turns of strings around the tuner's peg, strings are more likely to break. I think number four is still about strings, because you have to understand that when it comes to time to choose the right strings for you, it is not only a question of how thin or thick the strings are, or if they are high tension, normal tension, or light tension. It really is about the tone. I think that we might say that thin strings have a more punchy mid to low hands, where thick strings have a more crispier, brighter sound. There's no really such thing as um, the best guitar string gauge. Just pick the strings that you really like, and you will be totally fine. Thing number five, the last thing on this list, it's about the wood. Just keep in mind that we are not talking about classical guitar or acoustic guitar because on this type of instrument, the wood you choose will really have an impact on the final sound. But when we are talking about salibati guitar as this one, the type of wood of the body doesn't really make any difference to the final sound of the instrument. The only good advice that I could give you is that when you are buying a new guitar, just feel the weight of it, okay? If it feels too light, just don't buy it. Really do prefer heavier guitar, because even if the wood will not change the sound, okay, if the guitar is heavy, it will have a better attack and a better sustain. So when it comes the time to buy your new guitar, don't feel the need to be picky because somebody have told you that, I don't know, Ash guitar sounds better than mahogany guitar or the, than maple guitar. Just pick the one that looks good to you. That is the only thing that you really need to do. So guys, that's it. As I told you, these were just five things that uh, you should really learn to make your life as a guitar player way easier. And that being said, if you'd like me to go more in depth in one of these topics, please leave a comment down below. I will be more than happy to do so. I really hope that you have enjoyed this video and find it useful. And if it's so, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment to tell me what do you think about it. And of course, remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell because there's a lot more coming. Thank you very much for watching guys and see you at the next one. Bye.